Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Plugin Development. In the previous video, we had submitted the plugin to the WordPress org directory. And in this video, we are going to learn how to upload the plugin onto the WordPress SVN so it is available for us to see on the WordPress org. So it is publicly available and then people can download it. Okay, so if you remember in the previous video, uh, I mentioned that we have made some mistakes purposely to, to, to see that in case if we do tend to make a mistake, how do we resolve that? So one of the ways to resolve that was to immediately send an email to them saying that this is the mistake we made and they can go ahead and look into it. Uh, or you, sh you can also just wait for them to review it and then make the changes as per the suggestion made by them. But I feel that it's just easier to let them know in advance if you already know what the mistake is. Okay, so I would send them an email saying that, you know, I I'd made some mistakes over here, as you can see. Uh, and what I did was I also sent my updated plugin uh, in form of a zip directory and replied to the same email, which was received earlier. Okay, uh, and they replied to me that we will review your code as soon as possible and they will let us know. And I think within just one day, I received an email saying that congratulations, the plugin hosting request for Equula features have been approved. Within one hour, your account will be granted commit access to upload it to the SPN version. Okay, and this is the public URL for the SPN and this is where our plugin will be hosted. Okay, and that was just approved in one day. So, so brilliant. Congratulations for the plugin to get approved. Well done. So it has certain um, information here. You must use SVN to upload your code. Um, SVN username is this, password is the same as what you use to log into WordPress org. Username is case sensitive. Uh, SVN will not accept your email address as a username. So you need to put this username, whatever your username to wordpress.org is. Okay, and it may take 72 hours before all search results are properly updated. So once you upload it, ideally it should be available within like few minutes but sometimes it may take 72 hours for it to be searchable uh, at all platforms okay so it has certain information like how to use a subversion um, faqs etc and then also talks about the readme.txt validator you can validate if your readme is proper or not uh, it talks about the header images but i think we have already done all of this but yes you can always check that, okay? All right, so in order for us to upload this plugin on WordPress org, I have written a blog on it as well, which you can go to coritech.com and just search for submitting and uploading WordPress plugin. And you should be able to get this blog, adding a new plugin, etc., and um, has all the information about creating banners, screenshots, uh, icons, etc., and what is the size that is required, etc., right? Uh, what you need to do is you need to upload it using the SVN. So in case if you're on Mac, you can install it via brew. So you can just copy this command and just hit it. So you can see that for me, it's already been installed, but it's outdated. So it's upgrading that. Okay, so it's been installed. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is basically, let's create a directory called plugin directory cd plugin directory okay then i'm going to put our plugin into this directory i'll put that there so currently we have this aquila features okay we'll also create a directory called my local dir my local dir inside of that so let's do that mkdir so currently we have two directories my local dir which is where we're going to place the files in a format that's expected and then we have our actual plugin okay next thing we do is we are going to basically load the svn repository okay like how you pull the remote repository from github similarly we are going to pull the remote repository from the svn okay uh, and it'll obviously be just empty currently but we are going to place all of the files there okay so if you go to this svn url you can see that these are the directories where we're supposed to keep our files you have assets currently it's empty doesn't have anything you have tags again this is empty 
and you have trunk okay so we're going to just pull HTTPS we're just going to pull the remote repository to locally and okay so what we're going to do is we'll go to the my local dir and inside of this we are going to use the svn co amount and then the url that we have received the svn url okay so we'll put that there and now it's going to pull all of the directories and of course the remote repository uh, to your local okay so now you can see that these have been added here and there's also says checked out revision this is a revision id now if you do ls now if you go in you can see that it's also downloaded the aquila features directory so let's go inside of this and see what's there inside you can see you have asset stacks and trunk and do lsal you can see that you have the dot svn how when you have the git repository you have the dot git directory where it kind of stores all the history and all the information about that repository similarly you have the svn here okay dot svn and then you have these directories which is basically the asset stacks and trunk and if you can go, if you go back, you can see that there are, there are other plugins which are also uh, added here. But anyways, we are not interested in that. We are interested only in our plugin. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we're going to place the relevant files into the relevant directories. Okay. So let's do that. You could do it through command line using cp and you know all the commands mentioned here. But you could very well just drag and drop. Okay. So I think that's it for this video. In the next video, we will continue further. And we will go ahead and drag and drop um, all of the files in the relevant directories. And then we're going to upload it to the SVN repository. Okay. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Please start my repository to support my work. And do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. My Twitter handle is Koditex. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.